What is going on, people? It is your boy Daddy Mac, and welcome back to another Pokemon Sword and Shield Wi Fi battle. We're against Oscar, bringing a really cool OU team with Cinderace. Uh, Blessy is a really scary Pokemon in this team. I haven't seen one in a while. And Venusaur. So, a uh, really quick update. First, I want to choose my Pokemon here. So, who is he going to start with? Um, that's kind of tricky. I want to start with my own choice card, Dermanitan, and just um, you turn out of there, depending on what he brings out. So, we're going to go that route. So, we're going to start the big boy Dart. And go from there so really quick update i got a brand new job uh, it's actually starting on monday when you guys are seeing the team builder so i'm kind of recording uh battles and the team builder in a very short sequence of days so you guys so i can bring out the content for you guys just until i find out what my schedule is going to be so i'm a little bit nervous about how i'm going to squeeze in some time for videos and battles and things like that so you're going to be getting a team builder and two Pokemon Sword and Shield Wi-Fi battles this week. And then next week, uh, you're going to be getting some, of course, a battle and another battle. And then uh, some other third uh, thing. I I'm not sure what it's going to be yet. I need to adjust my mic because I really cannot see my screen. I kind of have to, like, look over this way. All right. So I think this is a, uh, this is good right here. So we got U-Turn. Uh, so he started out with Cinderace. That's, that's the biggest thing that I want to take note of. So... I kind of want an earthquake right off the bat, but I don't think it's optimal. Will we knock out? Probably not. I'm going to try it anyways. Starmanitan is definitely a win con. So we're going to earthquake here. Hopefully knock the Cinderace out because Cinderace is a big threat and it's not getting knocked out. That's a shame. High jump kick. Miss. Oh, I thought he missed for a moment. Miss. Yes! Yeah, Starmanitan, my boy! That's a really good start to this battle. That is a really good start to, my, to this battle. And... Darmanita took no damage. Let me know before we go any further who the MVP of this battle is going to be. Most valuable Pokemon in the comment section down below. Subscribe to my channel for weekly Pokemon battles. And also, let me know if you guys enjoyed the battle. Like, leave a like by doing so. So, my opponent brings out a Blissey, which is actually a really scary Pokemon. Don't know how I'm going to whittle this thing down quite yet. So what I'm going to do here is bring in the Ezumero because I'm not really scared of the Blissey unless, of course, it's bringing in Toxic. But most of the time, these things are running Softboiled, soft Toxic. Um, so Seismic Toss, Softboiled, Toxic. That's three moves. And the fourth move, I'm not sure what the fourth move normally is. To calm mind in this one. That's interesting. So as you guys saw in my team builder... As a Meryl, it's huge power choice bandit, so it's, it's gonna blow Blissey back. It's gonna blow whatever comes in back. Uh, do I want to stay in? Probably. Probably. Probably not. I kind of want to bulldoze here to lower the speed of something, but at the same time, liquidation is kind of optimal, so we're gonna try to liquidate. If you switch into Venusaur, no biggie. I'm gonna. Uh, Lantern's not a really good switch against the Venusaur. Corbin Knight comes in, that's good. Well, it's not good or it's, and it's not bad. Choice Bandit, huge power. Let's see how much damage this is going to do. Hopefully, it does a lot. It's a two-hit KO. Oh, what? <laughs> we get the defense drop, and it mirror armors it back to us. So, I think the best optimal play here is for us to switch into the Lantern and just Volt Switch. Uh, Lantern and then Volt Switch. That's what we're going to do here. He withdraws. I'm going to withdraw also. He's going to go Venusaur. So that's a little bit of a problem. He's pro ah, I cut my foot earlier. And I have a cut. Well, obviously, since, since I cut my foot. But it's a big cut and it hurts. All right. So we're going Lantern predicting the switch, which is actually really big. Um, I kind of want to Ice Beam here, to be honest. If we... if Oh, he's going to Leech Seed us. That's okay. I'm okay with that. I'm 100% okay with that. We're going to get seated here. I'm going to go for the Ice Beam, which is going to do a lot of damage to this Venusaur. Uh, I'll take that damage. He's going to get some health back because of the Leftovers and Leech Seed, apparently. Or Black Sludge, actually. And the Leech Seed here. So, there is that. So this is more of a defensive Venusaur from what I can see. What do I want to do next? Uh, I'm in a little bit of a tough spot. Maybe Skarmory? Yeah, Skarmory is good. We can set up the Stealth Rock and the Spikes, at least. I don't think Venusaur can really touch the Skarmory too much, given that we resist the Grass type times two. So we'll see. Giga Drain, absolutely gonna do nothing. I'll take that all day. 
Take it all day, boys. Take it all day. What does he have in the back? So should, is it more convenient to go stealth rock or is it more convenient to go for the spikes? Let me see. We're going to get our own leftovers recovery. Delicious, nutritious leftovers. Okay, so what do you got in the back that kind of scares me? Darmanitan, Corviknight. So that's enough right there. I'm going to go ahead and set up the stealth rock because of the, of the Darmanitan in the back. And then if I am able to, I'm going to follow up with a with a spikes. So you're going to go Darmanitan as expected. I expected for you to go Darmanitan. I'm going to go Stealth Rock here. And then Darmanitan hits like a truck. Um, so part of me kind of wants to let Skarmory in. We, If anything, we, we could take the Sturdy. So I'm going to Spikes here. I'm going to try the Spikes. Hopefully you turns or something. Nope. You're not U-turning. We're going to take us down to the Sturdy, which is uh, unfortunate, but it is what it is. It's a crit. Not that it mattered because of the Sturdy. And then he's going to take a lot of damage from the recoil. So I'm going to go Spikes here. Skarmory is my physical wall. I kind of need him. As much as I want to say that I, can't, I don't need him, I, I need him a lot. Is it worth saving him, though? Pro yeah, against the Blissey it is. So... I'm gonna switch out here. Um, what resists the fire type? Azumarill does, obviously. No. Yeah, we do. Yeah, okay. Azumarill it is. I probably you know, switching out. I could have roost right there. I could have gone for the roost. You're going Blissey. I'm gonna go back into the Azumarill here. And I think if he if he comes in with the Corvid Knight, I'm gonna switch back into Skarmory. I wish Azumarill had like flip turn or U-turn or something like that, but it doesn't. I can see flip turn, but I can't see why it doesn't have U-turn. Or I, I can see why it doesn't have U-turn, but not flip turn. It doesn't make sense to me. Okay, um, we're going to switch back into the Lantern. Yeah, Lantern. We're going to go Lantern here, because if he goes into his Corbin Knight, I can Bolt Switch. If he stays in, I can Bolt Switch also. I, I guess the biggest thing is that I'm going to Bolt Switch here. I need to get my water bottle. Corbin Knight, Corbin Knight, Venusaur. Okay, I kind of want to go into the Skarmory here. I kind of want to go into the Skarmory. I'm going to Volt Switch because I think that's the best play we can do right now. If he decides to Leech Seed anything, that's that's fine. You're going to Giga Drain. That's going to do some damage. I'm a Salt Vest. Can I take it? We're taking it. That's awesome. All right. I don't mind the, I don't mind the Giga Drain so much, to be honest. So I'm going to Volt Switch, and I'm going to go into Corbin Knight. And then from Corbin Knight, I'm going to go ahead and Roost. I'm going to Roost. Or not Corbin Knight, Skarmory. I don't have a Corbin Knight, I have a Skarm. All right, I'm going to Skarmory here. We're going to get some leftover uh, health back. After the Venusaur, of course, because it's faster than us, which is good information for my opponent. But I think the best play is for us to Roost. It's going to be for us to Roost. So we're going to Roost here. Darmanitan is going to take some damage from the spikes and the stealth rock. So he's kind of limited. He, he has to be limited with his uh, switches. Head up Blizzard, I don't think is enough to knock us out at all. Yeah, not going to do anything to us. I'm going to roost. Try to get back to full health. I am packing the Brave Bird for this Venusaur if he wants to stay in. Because I'm going to... Should I go... Um, I kind of want to roost. I'm going to roost again because that's the best play I can make. Due to the fact that he has the Darmanitan in the back. And that's how I'm going to counter the Darmanitan is with uh, Sturdy. So we're going to try to keep Skarmory as healthy as possible. We're going to Roost. He's going to go for the Leech Seed, which is fine. Next turn, I'm going to Brave Bird. And Darmanitan is not going to appreciate a Brave Bird. And Venusaur isn't either, to be quite honest. Nor Venusaur or the Darmanitan are going to appreciate a Brave Bird. So you're gonna get your health back. That's fine. I'm gonna. Uh, that's a lot. That's kind of a lot. <laughs> that's kind of a lot of damage. Spikes or Brave Bird? Um, I'm gonna Brave Bird here. To be honest, I'm gonna Brave Bird. Threaten this Venusaur a little bit. If he decides to go into Darmatan, uh, Darmanitan, that's fine. Go into Darmanitan. Go into the Darmanitan. Blissey. Okay. That's not the best. Uh, that's that's not what I wanted to happen. To be honest. I didn't want Blissey to come in. Takes a lot of damage. It's probably going to go soft-boiled next turn. Wow, that's a lot. And then we're going to get damage from the uh, Leech Seed. 
My opponent's probably gonna soft boiled here, and that's perfectly fine. I'm gonna roost. Like I said, I want to keep Skarmory as healthy as possible. Blissey has the leftovers also. I'm gonna roost right here. You're gonna go soft boiled. I, I bet you anything you're gonna go soft boiled here. Calm mind, soft boiled. Um, yeah, soft boiled. You probably are running seismic toss? Question mark. I'm not sure if he's running seismic toss, but it, it is kind of. Uh, Okay, so my biggest thing is how am I going to play the Venusaur? Because I don't have a whole lot against the Venusaur here. So maybe switch into the Darmanitan. My own Darmanitan here. I think that's the play. I think that's a play we can make. Or go Rillaboom. Rillaboom does a lot of damage. We're Life Orb Swords Dance. As you saw in the T Builder. Because Swords Dance is going to do more damage than... Uh, if I can get one up, at least, it's going to do more damage than the... Uh, what's what's the move called um, or then not the move the item the choice ban uh, Darmanitan or what am I even saying real boom? You can call mind all you want. I'm gonna swords dance here, and I'm gonna threaten you. I'm gonna threaten you Maybe Dyn Dynamax um, What does your max move do? I forget what Darmanitan's or why do I keep calling real boom Darmanitan? I forget what um, real booms max move does okay can be used regardless of abilities. It's 160. That's a lot that's kind of a lot um i'm gonna swords dance here I'm, I'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna try to play this out i'm gonna swords dance threatening my opponent soft boiled is fine because we'll knock it out i'm gonna knock this thing out i don't even need priority i can just hit it with the drum beating and i'm sure it's gonna knock it out so we're gonna drum beating here. You can switch if you want. I don't think this is a contact move. So I shouldn't get damage from the Rocky Helmet. It should knock it out. Yeah, no Rocky Helmet. No Rocky, oh, it is Rocky, oh, that's Life Orb. Okay, awesome. We're plus two. The Glassy Glide is gonna do a lot of damage. It's gonna do even more than a Choice Banded uh, Rillaboom. We got rid of one of the walls and my opponent rage quits. Good job. So our last opponent rage quit and that calls for a second battle in this video. So that's awesome. Um, I can't believe my opponent rage quit when I knocked out his Blissey. I guess that was part of his core, but, or maybe he thought Rillaboom was gonna sweep the rest of his team, which kind of does to be honest, but it is what it is. Now we're against Majin. Majin has a really cool team. Um, I, I fear the Jolteon because Jolteon is a very fast Pokemon. Uh, though we can kind of counter that with lantern we won't be able to volt switch against the jolteon though because of the volt absorb We're both running volt absorb on that. I bet Darmanitan is a good start because it knocks out. Well, it doesn't necessarily knock it out right away But it, it checks the lucario. It does good damage against the gengar the cinderace and the jolteon So darmanitan is gonna be a little bit of a wink on here I'm gonna be honest. I kind of want to start darmanitan so I can if he says if he starts jolteon I'm gonna u-turn and then let's say he starts Blastoise. I U-turn and go into Rillaboom anyways and threaten it with the Glassy Glide. So we're going to go ahead and start and take that route. All right, Majin, what are you going to do to us? I need to update my lead card, I feel like, because it's, it's been a while. It's been a while since we updated our lead card. Sorry, I needed, I needed a drink of water. If you guys want to battle me, make sure you guys get my Instagram down in the description down below. Give me a follow and shoot me a message. Make sure you follow me because I don't get your message notification if you guys don't follow me. So that is the biggest reason why. So given that in the last battle we earthquaked and the Cinder Race didn't go down, that's a little bit of a problem. But I still kind of want to earthquake here. I kind of want to earthquake. We're going to earthquake. I hope it knocks out. It knocks it out, boys. Pyro Butt gets knocked out. Pyro butt gets put on his butt. But, anyways, <laughs> I, I didn't mean a pun to be intended when I said butt, but there I go again saying butt. Stop saying butt. Here comes the Flygon, a shiny Flygon, which is absolutely beautiful. I'm stuck on Earthquake. Uh, he knows I'm choice scarfed, which is good news for him. Um, given that Flygon's a dragon type, I kind of want to go Azumarill, but I am afraid of taking damage with the. Um, 
earth with the earthquake and quite frankly i'm not in a position to take an earthquake so i'm gonna go skarmory here unless this thing is running fire punch or thunder punch then i'm threatened but if it doesn't then i'm not i'm not threatened at all i don't believe skarmory can learn thunder punch but i know it learns fire uh fire punch so we're gonna stealth rock here if you hit me with the fire punch then uh, that's obviously something i need to be aware of i would live with a sturdy and that tells me that he's probably not running um fire punch so he goes into his eevee cult my favorite eevee lucian to be honest is the jolteon so i'm gonna go stealth rock here kind of limit his switches this thing probably wants to hit me with a bolt switch and uh either a bolt switch or a thunderbolt and i'm gonna go lantern here lantern is my best check against the jolteon to be honest there's no pursuit in this generation so i don't gotta worry about that thank goodness lantern we're gonna oh that's a shadow ball we should be able to take it regardless though we should be able to take it assault vest lantern absolutely beautiful i'm gonna go for a scald here if you want to switch something that's gonna probably get burned or you're gonna get burned hyper voice not gonna do anything to us i'm gonna hit it with a scald lantern baby let's do let's get a burn no burn okay that's fine i'm gonna scald again a lantern did more damage in one turn than jolteon did in two turns that's kind of crazy you're gonna go for the blast toys tor tank that's fine i'm okay with that to be honest if i don't get the burn i'm gonna try to go for the um what's what's that attack called discharge and try to get the paralysis yeah we're gonna do that because for, discharge has a 30 percent chance to leave a paralysis also just like uh scald has a 30 percent chance to leave a burn so we're gonna go discharge here and try to do some damage on this tor tank discharge we outspeed this thing which is good news leave a paralysis because we don't want it yes baby we don't want to shell smash around here you're probably going shell smash i'm gonna discharge here again i don't want to bolt switch because i don't want to give him a switch priority and that's gonna make me lose momentum and that's the last thing i want to be honest so we're gonna discharge here tor tank did absolutely nothing what if this was his gigantamax pokemon we just kind of shifted momentum on our slide and that's exactly what we need and want to be honest lantern putting in the work just like the last not this last battle but the last uh, wi-fi battle we had make sure you guys check that one out i love lantern lantern's one of my favorite pokemon okay here comes the flygon again i'm not okay I'm, I'm i'm afraid of this thing in terms of the earthquake I'm afraid of this thing in terms of the earthquake. So we're, our best, we're, we're gonna go Skarmory every single time. And we're gonna, with this time around, we're gonna Spikes. We're gonna hit him with the Spikes. Try to limit everything he does to us. U-turn, that's fine. He's probably gonna go Jolteon. If he does, I'm going back into Lantern. I can even go Executor against the Jolteon. I think it's time for us to see some Executor action. Lucario comes out. Hmm, what does Lucario want to do to us? What does Lucario want to do to us? I, I, it's a little bit of a shame I don't have uh, Aqua Jet with the Azumarill. I kind of want a Spikes here. Let's see what Lucario is going to do to us. He's probably going to Nasty Plot or Swords Dance. Swords Dance it is. Scary. Um, I'm going to be honest. I didn't want to run Whirlwind on the Skarmory for situations just like this. But I opted in for spikes instead. Um, maybe we can switch for the Brave Bird. I don't want this thing to sweep me is the biggest thing that I have. Uh, Azumarill? Azumarill maybe? What do you have that threatens me? I'm gonna go Azumarill here. I'm pretty sure we can take a fighting type move with against a plus two Lucario. Azumarill it is. Shiny Azumarill, beautiful shiny, one of my favorite shinies. You guys are learning a lot about my favorite Pokemon. That's a lot of damage. Azumarill probably isn't going to do a whole lot of damage against my opponent's team. The good news is that he's at a minus uh, one and one. We're probably going to need to let Azumarill go down here, and that's fine. I'm going to go Superpower just in case. Extreme speed. Don't knock us out, please. Oh, it knocks us out. Okay. That's not really good. Um, I'm gonna go Darmanitan here and hit this thing with an Earthquake. Hit this thing with an Earthquake. No, I'm gonna hit him with a Flare Blitz in case he wants to go into Flygon. 
Superpower. Superpower is better. Hit you with a superpower, Lucario. You're gonna go extreme speed, rightfully so. Oh my goodness, that almost knocked this out. Lucario, a little bit of a menace against our team here. I wasn't expecting for him to do that much uh, damage against my team. Lucario goes down. One of the biggest threats on this team. And then he still has the Flygon. He still has Gengar. And of course, so Flygon, Gengar. I think those are the last two. Let me check. Let me check. He has three. So he has Flygar and the Jolteon. I forgot the, about the Jolteon. I'm still going to go Skarmory, to be honest. I'm still going to go Skarmory here. Um, I, I think I can check the Flygon against uh, with the Rillaboom. But I'm going to I'm gonna try to whittle down the Flygon as much as I can. Outrage. That's fine. He got rid of my fairy, so he... You know that that's that's perfectly fine. He he can go for outrage all he wants. Skarmory tanks it though. We're gonna tank it. This gives me an opportunity to set up. Oh, how much layers of spikes we have? One. Oh, wrong one. One. Okay. So we're gonna set up two more layers. We're gonna set up two more layers. Outrage again. That's fine. I like your Flygon. I like it a lot. The good news is he didn't get confused. So what I'm going to do is set up one more layer of spikes since he's trapped into the Outrage. And then I'm going to roost this next turn. You can go Outrage again. That's fine. Absolutely nothing. I'm going to spikes again. Now you're, you're confused due to fatigue. Spikes. Yeah, I love Skarmory. I'm surprised we were able to counter the Lucario like we did, to be honest. He had the opportunity to go for a plus four. I would have got I would have gotten greedy, to be honest, if I was in his shoes. And that would have swept my whole team. That would have swept my entire team. So I'm gonna go for the roost here. My opponent's kind of trapped. My opponent is really can't do much. Go for a roost here, get full HP back. I have a shiny jolty on myself. Roost. Listen, I'm still gonna go lantern. I have nothing to lose going uh, going into lantern. My defensive core, lantern and skarmory, are so perfect. You guys should try this core one day. It's it's just awesome. I love this defensive core. It's the best defensive core I've made in a long time, to be honest. And I'm having so much fun with it. That's fine. I really switched Lantern because I'm Assault Vested. So I'm going to go for the Scald. I'm going to go for the Scald. Shadow Ball is not going to do much unless it lowers my special defense. Okay, good. I'm going to go for the Scald and it should knock you out. Or close. Burn? No? Okay, that's fine. Go for the scald one more time. I kind of have my opponent checked, to be honest. Because we actually... We should be able to tank the Gengar also. We should be able to tank the Gengar. I'm going to go for the scald. If he goes into the Flygon next... I probably won't go Skarmory that time. I'll, I'll switch it up a little bit. Because I want to find an opening for Rillaboom. That's my biggest thing. And if I go Rillaboom, Ectoplasma the Gengar. I honestly feel like he should have gone Flygon. That would have been his better move. You're going to take damage. You're going to take a lot of damage, Gengar. That's a lot of damage. Now, because you're not a, a physical attacker, I'm going to go Discharge here. Go for the Discharge. It should hopefully get another Paralysis. Sledge Bomb, not going to do nothing. Okay, it does a lot. And he gets the Poison. Rightfully so, because I got the Paralysis against the Blastoise. Lost some HP through the life orb. I'm gonna go discharge and Lantern's gonna go down this next turn. Paralysis. Nope. I get the poison. I'm gonna go down this next turn. Lantern, you did such a good job. You did such a good job. Uh, good job, Lantern. I think we handled this team very well. And his, his team did have a big weakness to Earthquake, but we didn't really take advantage of that. You go down also. Okay. 
It's time for the Rillaboom. So I think we go Rillaboom here or Executor. Rillaboom or Executor? What do I want to do? I kind of want to see some Executor action, to be honest. Maybe we can take a Dragon Claw or something. And we can hit this thing with the Draco Meteor and knock it out. So we're going to go. We're going to go into our Executor. You can't even see the neck. Air well, obviously, you see the neck, but you can't even see the face. All right. Draco Meteor. You can Dynamax if you want. I dare you to. I dare you to. Outrage probably knocks us out, though. Outrage probably. Yeah. Sorry, Executor. I know I should have done that to you. <laughs> now I feel bad. I kind of feel bad now. I'm gonna go Rillaboom just cuz. I'm gonna go Rillaboom just cuz. We're not choice banned or anything here. So Glassy Glide isn't gonna do a lot, a lot. But it's gonna do a lot. Covers the battlefield. Imagine if I get too greedy and he re he comes back. I'm gonna Grass Glide here. I no need a Dynamax, I feel like. And that's a knockout. Good job, Rillaboom. Good job, Rillaboom. That's the battle. Majin Buu. Or Majin Vegeta. Or Deborah, or whoever you're, whatever Majin you are. Thank you so much for that battle. I really appreciate it. But um, I'm going to take your lead card because your team was awesome. I just managed to wipe, outplay it very well. But thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for your time. Make sure you guys leave a like if you guys enjoyed this battle or the previous battle. Or if you just like my team in general. Make sure you guys comment down below on who the most valuable Pokemon was. Uh, battle 1 or 2 or maybe both. Uh, which Pokemon put in the most work in this video today. And also, subscribe to my channel for more Pokemon Sword and Shield videos. I will see you guys on Monday.